Since 1993, Dr. Neva Goodwin has led the Global Development and Environment Institute at Tufts University in distinguishing itself as one of the leading sources of new thinking in economics, innovative teaching materials, and rigorous policy research. In the following interview with Dr. Goodwin, she provides an introduction to the Institute's history, mission, and current work. After I decided in my late 20s that I wanted to learn about economics, I took my first economics courses ever and went through a, a PhD program and was terribly disappointed because what I was learning seemed to have very little to do with the real world. It was abstract to the point of often being irrelevant and sometimes directly contrary to reality as I observed it. A precursor to G-Day was founded in 1991. At first it was just me, and then I was joined by Jonathan Harris, who had been uh, a fellow student at Boston University. Our focus was on the educational materials. But after a while, we were joined by other people who had more of the policy interest. So we began to have this, what I consider to be a really happy combination of walking on two legs where we have the people really grappling with policy issues in the real world to do with agriculture and trade and capital controls and climate change. Those of us on the theory and education side are constantly learning from them and using these applied understandings to inform the way we try to refine our generalizations about how the economy works, and then we put that into the educational materials. We have really two fairly distinct groups, although there's some overlap between them. The theory and education program is focused on teachers and students, and we create a number of educational materials, textbooks and things on our website that we hope will improve the content of college teaching about economics. And then the other side is uh, directed towards particularly policymakers, but reaches, I think, quite a broad audience of people who are concerned about a specific issue. For example, there are NGOs who are concerned with agriculture and trade. They may not be directly policymakers, they're not members of any government group, but they want to understand what they should be pushing for. And again, it's this issue of the combination between a more abstract understanding and the application in the real world. Although we call ourselves a research institute, it's not just research. It's research and theory and education and policy. So, of course, others who are research institutes also have outputs of one kind or another. But I think that the outputs of education and policy, I think that's an unusual combination. And um, as, as I've mentioned, I think that uh, having that combination makes us much better at each side than we would be if we were only doing one. The characteristic that we all share, which is considerable stubbornness. We all have come through a economic education that we didn't believe in. And while some people take that and say, gosh, this seems strange, but these guys must know what they're talking about, I better just learn it. Uh, the group of people who've ended up at G-Day are all people who didn't think that way. Our reaction was, there's something really wrong here, and the emperor has no clothes on. So we came to G-Day with uh, an awareness that the economics education we'd been getting wasn't telling us about the real world. And so whether we are more on the education side or more on the policy side, our motivation is to try to put together our understanding 
in ways that can be used to make the world a better place. Please visit our website at gday.org for more information, including free downloads of teaching materials and policy research.